Hello and welcome to today's special cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to absolutely blow your mind once again here going through the technical analysis on this Bitcoin chart. I have three things I want to do today. Review the current range that we are trading within. I then want to go through a setup which I gave yesterday. I want to give a review for this one and then I want to end with what's actually happening right now. What support and resistances are we up against and what would, what should one be looking for next? The education in this video is going to be absolutely brilliant. Without further said or do, let's go. And we're obviously going to start off with the review of this channel that we were looking at yesterday. So it's the exact same channel. And as you will know from yesterday's video that I'd done in the live stream, it was obviously we were looking at this really simple channel that we had. And in the end, this was about an hour after the live stream ended. We come down, we tested the middle of the channel. OK, right on equal time, funnily enough. And we obviously then had a pretty lovely move to the upside in the end, taking out this high. And as I was making people aware over on Twitter, for me, that is a really important take profit one. And, you know, whatever happens next week, we had guaranteed ourselves a nice little bit of money off of the middle of the channel here. Obviously, we had four different factors of confluence along with it. But in the end, a, a nice little scalp trade. As we can see, it didn't quite you know, didn't quite go up to the top of the highs. OK, we were obviously looking for this to be breaching the highs. And this is something really, really, really important. So once again, get your notepads out, ladies and gentlemen. You will notice that I always have three Bitcoin pairs listed to the right hand side. This is obviously Bybit where I trade. And this one below is Coinbase. Coinbase is the largest spot exchange. OK, so when we look at Coinbase, you will see that it did take the highs. So this is just a factor to be very much aware of. We obviously were looking for the short position off of a deviation from the range high. I did not take this short, by the way, because I never actually had the setup. I was very much aware that we have taken it on Coinbase. But I will tell you this, I've built up statistics of when it's taken on Coinbase and when it's not taken on Bybit. And this only had a 7% chance that it was going to fall. But of course, fall it did. And that 7% <laughs> moving up very much slightly there. But yeah, but there was only a 7% probability that we weren't going to take the high. So personally, I did not take the short here. But at the same time, I was very much aware of, you know, we have taken the highs on the largest dedicated spot exchange, something to be aware of 100%. And although I didn't get the short from the absolute high of the move, obviously, I managed to secure my profits with the long trade that I was in. And so in the end, you know, in the end of the day, um, you know, a missed trade is not a losing trade. So, you know, that was overall a pretty, pretty nice trade, if I say so myself. And obviously, we continue this range, as you can see here, from the range high, we obviously came down today, all the way to the range low and bringing it back to the buy bit chart, right down to the range low. And obviously, we're getting this little bit of a move underway here, after, a, you know, a little bit of a swing for pattern of the previous low and, you know, a bit of a bit of a rise coming in this morning. Um, before I get on to what's happening right here, right now, I would like to just cover a setup that I went through in yesterday's contenders live stream. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this, not my words, words of the champions. Uh, this is one of the greatest setups that they have seen in recent history. And you have to remember the standards that we have right now is that's comparing it to that $29,000 Bitcoin long call that I gave for the champions. And so if, it, if it's better than this, it really must be something special no? and special it kind of is. So uh, let me go through it here. This is where you want to put on your thing thinking caps. Even if you are not a contender and champion, just try and comprehend what I'm going to go through here, because this is just, you are never going to see this anywhere else. It is next level. It really is next level analysis. So first of all, uh, what we were looking at yesterday during that uh, contenders live stream is price was actually here. Okay. We were here during the live stream. Okay. So you can see here around, around 8, 8 p.m. UK time. And I had recognized that we have two levels of support that for me were fairly large. We obviously had the middle of the channel and then we had, well, I'll cover the confluences that we had down there. We also had a confluence here where we bounced off of. And I said to my team, I personally am not going to long again the middle of the channel. For me, this is no longer a good trade. And I was actually after this level of confluence that we had down and around here. We actually had the lovely 7.5 speed founder CC. Uh, in the end, we just took this low for a bit of a swing failure pattern trade. And we had E all time. And we obviously had that brilliant um, HVN coming in here. So we had like a lot of confluence. But why was this trade so special, you might ask? 
Well, as we were coming down during the time, I mean, this is the best gift in the world if you've ever seen one. <laughs> but as it was coming down, th this was around 10 past uh, 10, 10 past 10. It wants to make our stream come to life. I'm obviously referring to the setup that I went through in the stream. Because why was this setup so special, you might ask? Well, the reason it's so special is because I predicted that we will put in the low at 1 a.m. exactly. Okay, 1 a.m. And I was saying to my team, we have are having to wait about four to five hours here for this setup to come into play. And many people might think this is not going to be happening. Many people might think we are not going to move down this much within the time frame given. Well, you have to keep the faith in the analysis that I'm giving. Because, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we made our way down exactly on 1 a.m. Okay, so if we highlight this screen that we see here, as you can see, this is, I mean, I've given a little bit of a review here in the, in the trading update section. Uh, what we had here is you can see this low put in the trigger that I set during that stream, get to the PC, get ready for this move, uh, was obviously set during the live stream, uh, five to eight, Live stream starts 7.30. So during the contenders live stream, I set me up my alert and I was saying, we want this alert to go off at 1 a.m. That was my God's honest word. We wanted this alert at 1 a.m. for a lovely eagle time. And look at this, 1 a.m. and 55 seconds, the alert is triggered. Get to PC. This is the long setup that we were waiting for. And I also mentioned during that stream uh, what we were looking for in terms of what we want to see in terms of the order flow. And what we wanted to see was the lows taken. So this is here. You see 1 a.m. Uh, you can, yeah, you can see this. 1 a.m. Look at this. Taking the low and look at all this negative delta coming in. 1.2 million, 3.8 million, 14 million negative delta on 1 a.m. That is 14 million new shorts opened. Okay, you see all the selling imbalances straight away. I wonder who this is. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is pretty hard to wonder who this is. Followed by a lovely 20 million long, all new longs opening and instantly reversed, you know, with the buying imbalances. This is exactly, literally exactly, not only the level we were waiting for, not only the exact minute we were waiting for, but also the exact order flow we were waiting for. Okay, so it was kind of a really special setup. So ladies and gentlemen, for the people that aren't in the live stream, I kind of feel sorry for you because this was a really a special setup. But, um, you know, for the people that were, just remember how we made that prediction. Now, how we made that prediction, go watch the live stream again, because it literally played exactly as predicted. OK, and the order flow, exactly what we were wanting to see. And then obviously in the end, we rejected off of this CC. We reject off of this CC here and we make our way down. Have a guess where to? <laughs> the bottom of the range, of course. So, um, you know, this was obviously a scenario that we were very much aware of coming back into the point of controls. And obviously in the end, we see a bit of a, of a you know, kind of a fake out, I suppose, from this and, and come down to the bottom of the range. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was the setup that I wanted to quickly review. I'm sure I'll review it again during the week in a members live stream for you. But what you have to also acknowledge about this stream is recognizing that there were two levels of support prior to this. We obviously had the, uh, we had a secondary range high volume node and we obviously had the middle of the channel with the range point of control. And so it's recognizing that we had, you know, you have to think back in time a little bit here, but we had a support here and we had a support here. And it's been able to recognize, as I was writing here, think about all the randomers, you know, the random people in the market that have bought the middle of the channel again, the second touch of it, or they've bought the range point of control only to be stopped out minutes later. Yeah. So it's important to also see when there is a bad trade and not taking that trade, recognizing that it will be a bad trade is also a winner in itself. No, because by recognizing those are going to be likely poor trades and we want to wait for the high probability trades. We have, in in, in, a, in effect, saved ourselves money, okay, ready for the, the big trade that we wanted at 1 a.m. And obviously that went pretty, pretty uh, nice if I say so myself. And so obviously we made our way up to this CC, as you can see here. And then obviously when we zoom in a little bit, oops, when we zoom in a little bit here, we can see we've obviously made our way down. And let me just draw this on for you, I suppose you might want to see this. So this is what CC is obviously from this high to, to this low, okay? So you can see here, you come up into the CC and you reject. And well, we'll keep this on the chart. And then look at this. So this 7.5 speed fan that we were looking at has now flipped into resistance. You can see, you know, you, you kind of miss it slightly here. This is for me a touch, but nevertheless, uh, you do get the secondary touch of it here. You know, literally a few minutes before I started this video. This is also a, uh, you know, a, 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 a basically a flip of this speed fan. And, and uh, speed fan is one of the most underrated tools, uh, not understood by many. But, uh, you know, it's such a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tool. 
so yeah, that, that's kind of the outlay of the reviews that I wanted to do. Okay, starting off with uh, the review of our channel that we were trading yesterday, how we had the, you know, if you really a scope long from the middle of the channel up to the highs, uh, reminding you all, ladies and gentlemen, that hey, hey, checking Coinbase can be helpful. For, personally, I didn't take that short, remember, but I'm totally okay with that. I managed to take the next three trades and win the next three trades. So, you know, I'm beating in record here. And, you know, then we're moving on to giving a review of this trade and how that went. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I surprise myself sometimes how powerful, how, how accurate that is. Um, and then also, you know, reminding you of that order flow that we saw in here. And then surprise, surprise, you see this, the longs that opened on the increase when we came into the CC. Well, look at this. As soon as you hit into the CC, all those longs start taking profit. And we're talking about major profit taking here. You see this major profit taking. And then that's followed by, uh, you know, shorts opening as well. Okay. So the open interest is obviously giving you a massive edge in this market, if you know how to read it correctly. Um, and then I said, um, you know, three parts, review of the channel, review of this trade, and then, you know, what's happening now. Well, what's happening now is fairly simple. No. So if we just hide some of these, uh, let's just hide this, let's hide this, let's hide this. Uh, no, we don't want to hide that a second. Put that back on. Oops. <laughs> and we want to hide this. So really simply what we have here is we're still with, we're still range bound, aren't we? So <laughs> it's not really that much of a um, massive, exciting um, bit of analysis. Yeah, we, we are still range bound. Okay. We obviously have our support off the low of the channel. We have a resistance off of the high of the channel. OK, uh, naturally, we look for shorts up here. We look for longs down here. And as with every bit of analysis that you're going to see, when you love to trade ranges, you have to know if you lose your range support, you look down for your next level of support. If you break your range high, you look up for your next level of resistance. Obviously, I covered these levels in yesterday's public free live stream. If you haven't seen that live stream yesterday, you, you probably should watch it. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, you probably should. So, um, you know, that's essentially how I am personally trading this right now. OK, we obviously had our lovely we have our we've had a few, few lovely few trades in here, to be honest with you. Um, and now, obviously, the, you know, the, our latest occurrence here is the flip of the 75 speed fan that we were obviously looking at yesterday in the contenders live stream. That's currently flipped. But ultimately, we have our range low of support. We have our range high of resistance. We have our middle of the channel, which we can use for scopes. Obviously, from here, a scope long, we can lose this for scope shorts. OK, and if we lose, if we end up coming down, for example, and losing this channel low, and we actually want to see closes below it. So actually see acceptance below the last low made. OK, so no swing failure pattern. If we see acceptance below the last low made, of course, we're going to have to be looking for lower in the Bitcoin chart. And the, like I, I literally went in a bit more detail yesterday, but obviously I'm looking for this demand zone. If we come and lose the bottom of the channel, that'd be my first place of interest, the demand zone there on the order blocks. And actually, if we break the range high, you know, we were looking up to 47, uh, about 47,300. If we break through that, we got that 48K big level above us. Um, so, you know, that that's that's the advantage on in this market. When you've done your technical analysis, it is then simply a case of being patient and remaining calm and collected. Like that one, yes, we had to wait five hours for the setup but what a setup it was in the end. And just like now, yeah, there isn't really a, a trade we had right here where we are right now. So we are going to have to be patient to see if we lose the channel low and look for lower or if we can make our way up to the midpoint. Um, that's what we would be looking for next. In my opinion, either the midpoint or lower on the Bitcoin chart. So once again, we're going to have to be a little bit patient here while we wait for those setups. Um, was there anything else that I wanted to cover here? Um, I don't think there really was. So, um, yeah, I will say this at the end. Uh, I'm probably going to do a Twitch live stream a little bit later. So if you're interested in another live stream from myself, this is obviously a free one for the public. Um, yeah, I'll do one twitch.tv forward slash chart champions. So if you want to see that, I'll probably do a Twitch live stream later. So you can give us a follow over there. And um, <clears throat> yeah, of course, I have to say this video is done for the educational reasons. My aim, the whole reason I have this channel is to educate people, empower them to really better themselves and, you know, and be able to successfully trade consistently over time. Uh, so, yeah, no financial advice. I'm obviously not a financial advisor. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've learned something from it. And, you know, if you want to see those sort of updates as they're happening in the time, giving the predictions of the levels that we're going to be looking to trade hours in advance, 
well, that's exactly what I've done yesterday. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing next week and the week after and the week after. So, ladies and gentlemen, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, smash the like button. Thank you ever so much. Enjoy your day and uh, catch you over on Twitch a bit later. Cheers. Bye.